Oh, hi. wait. But do we have a hey too much like a, Hey, okay, hey. I'm okay, down. we're like, I'm gonna scooch down here for you. Okay. We're, we're really trying to not be too totally ghetto. Wait. In oh, that's our, better. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> in, our, in our Facebook Live, Blair, can you? Wait, let's adjust this. Here, let's adjust. Sorry, guys. Okay. Hi, guys. Hey, Jen Dross. So I'll just talk and you can okay. pictures. <laughs> I look like I'm, it's a puppet show. <laughs> So we are we're dual live streaming here, and we didn't really like plan it out. Yes, Sorry. Blair Blair would be our camera girl. We'd be our camera angle. Or, there, well, she but I can't, can't see how bad it is. Okay, right. that's perfect. Right so there. guys, this is real life. <laughs> right, 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 right. Wait, that's good. A little okay. lower. But we're okay. looking at this camera, so it's hard. Go to, can you go to that camera? Blair is like, I walked in this room to, I, to get dinner. You're asking me. Okay, this no, one? don't touch that. This one. That's good. Just go right next to hers, right you. there. Oh, that's yes, that's, that's perfect. Good. Okay, that's perfect. guys, Kimberly Olson here, and I have Beth Graves here, and we normally have our SHIT together, but we just decided to do this impromptu. So if you're on the replay, sorry don't, about all you're that. Moving, you're moving twist. it so yeah, much. I'm that's good. It it's live on my page good. with Perfect. only my head. Okay, okay. There we go. Well, I just Can you make it yeah. angle down? Well, I just know there's no way that I'm able to hold this for 30 minutes or however. It's not going to be that Five long. minutes. Oh, five okay. minutes I can hold So we're live. So go ahead and put one in the comments sorry, if you're everybody. watching this live. Put <laughs> two if you're watching the replay. If you're new and you've never seen our videos before, if you're new to Beth, because a lot of you are on my page, put new. Oh, your kids are so cute. Put new to Beth. If you're new to me, hi, best people, <laughs> but new to Kimberly, and I promise we're gonna do a Facebook live training this week for, for myself <laughs> and how to for not be ghetto her on and Facebook. everybody. Yeah, <laughs> hashtag how to not be ghetto on Facebook. But this is one thing you wanna know about Facebook lives, you guys, just do it. It doesn't matter if you're ghetto and you have got your, one of your best friends I'm grabbing, holding I'm it. grabbing, and, and Blair's over here like the My camera girl with shaking. the best. <laughs> it's good, it's, a, it's an arm workout. So um, a, lot of people, a lot of people have asked me, um, we, were, we, we are at Grant Cardone at the Growth Con Conference, and um, Keep talking. It, we're we're here learning from like today. We heard Bethany Frankel speak. She was amazing. Oh my gosh, I loved what she said. One of the things she was just like, people that are successful, they just take action and they start to work their butts off. Yes. And um, so, if uh, I would I would totally suggest you guys that you that you go follow her on Instagram because she was so oh, inspirational. Yeah, awesome. So um, a lot of people have said to me. I recently, Kimberly and I, we connected on social media. I actually saw her doing a Facebook Live. Thank She's you, a Rob best-selling Sperry. author. Rob Sperry. Woo, woo, woo. Mm -hmm. And um, I was so intrigued and curious about Instagram, about some personal branding. We're both in network marketing. So I reached out to her and I said, hey, do you do, you do coaching? Like, how can I learn from you? Yes. And we had a chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely. And what was really cool, too, is... I didn't feel like it was this weird thing. Like we had already had a connection. Like she said, hey, I saw you in this group and we had something in common. So sometimes I think people come in like blazing hot and you had obviously another you know, reason because of the coaching part of it. But you always want to remember, like I'm a normal person, right? So just yeah, reach so, out and So talk. the purpose of this video today is a lot of people have asked us. So I recently sponsored Kimberly into my network marketing business. And this past month, she um, had month end numbers that in her first four weeks that people would wait a long time to see, if ever. And also um, earn a rank bonus, earned a car bonus, has a team that um, also amazing. earned bonuses, amazing. amazing. And I ran into a fellow network marketer today and they said to me, oh my gosh, I, I, how do you sponsor influencers or people? You seem to always have the golden ticket. And so we started to talk about, well, first of all, um, I didn't, aim at Kimberly or a lot of the other rock stars that I've sponsored. I've been with um, my company for four and a half years and so many successful driven people have joined me um, because first of all, I put it out into the universe. Oh I, yeah, I, I tell, like, them about, so, tell them how you manifested me. Okay, so I totally <laughs> manifested this. I had said, um, I, I'm, I'm truly, and, and this was a learned trait because I was, um, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, all those mindset junkie gurus. Blair over here kept telling me, you need to do visualization, you need to have affirmations. And I'd hang up the phone and I'd be like, this chick's crazy. <laughs> and uh, so she kept consistently sharing with me her success with affirmations, with manifestations, with visualization. But I was, I didn't stop like uh, working so I could learn to manifest. I was like, okay, I'm adding this. And so in December, was November. I had on my vision board and I kept affirming that I am going to attract someone that would like to come into our company with influence, with a list, 
with experience that has the goal of hitting the top rank of the company in under six months. Like that was who was on the list because I wanted to, I thought I want to sponsor someone that has, has that drive and it's so much fun and, and I've sponsored many, but it, it, you know, it was yeah. time. So, um, a lot of people have said, well, like how'd that happen? Well, first of all, I have talked and, and given content and given, um, not going at conversations with what can I take from you, mm -hmm. but what can I learn from you or, or how can I bless you? Um, but just making connections, making connections, making connections, but then making the suggestion. Yeah. You can't just be like, I'm going to put it in the universe and then it's going to come my way. Right. Yeah, just so like magically as you were growing your team this month, it, of course you have a lot of people that have followed you. She's the gold digger girl. She has a lot of valuable training and content on social media, but you didn't just say, Oh, they're just gonna, I'm just gonna like throw this out oh, there. Oh, no, no way. You yeah. had a plan and you yeah. worked your butt off. Yeah, totally. And I think too, I think sometimes people will say, you know, I, oh, I want more people on my team or I want more runners. And I think you have to get really clear on the type of team you want and the type of energy, like the people that are joining, we keep just shaking our heads, you guys, the people that are joining my team because in, you know, now I'm part of this team, but directly my team are so excited and they're all like implementing everything. So I'm like, here, go do this and stuff. I'm obviously learning from her and they're pumped to do it. Like that's all I've ever wanted. Like you guys know what it's like when you bring someone on and they don't do anything. And I know the numbers, but you guys, the numbers are totally wrong. My numbers, like the people, everybody, pretty much every single Everybody's person's winning. joined. They're all winning. They're like doing it. They're getting success. They're getting their first customers. And then literally I had a girl who was like, okay, what do I do? So I said, go do this. Within 24 hours, she got her first, her first customer. Within three more days, she got her first team member because they're excited and they want to do it. But do you know how long I've been thinking about this team? Like I sit here every day and just write about it. And I'm like, my dream team, I want people who want to run. And that's kind of like, it sounds like what you did. Yeah. And so what are the things that you're probably thinking, okay, I want that too. So we're going to give you like five tips right now of how you can reach out and make that connection with the right person that has the right vision. Um, and I never prejudge. Okay. So for reaching out, you have to be willing to ask. I had to, Blair is over here and when, and I would like to think that I was her dream. Um, you were. But she, <laughs> she specifically reached out and said to me, I'm building something really special. I know that um, I, I found the right home for me because I believe in this product and I also know that we have the right support and I want you, I want you by my side. So when Kimberly, um, she was actually product driven. Mm -hmm. She was looking mm -hmm. for something that would help her with her energy, that would help, she was like, she's a workaholic, I have to tell you, she works harder than anybody I know. Um, I did say to her, listen, you do have a passion for health and wellness and you are the exact match that, that, that I would love to see if you would be open. Can I get, you know, what, what kind of questions do you have? I asked her if she was open. I gave her an invitation and it was up to her to say yes, no, not yet, or ignore me. Mm -hmm. And you know how many people I've given that invitation to, but before that invitation came, um, I didn't head to getting to know Kimberly in a way that was like, what can I gain from her? That's the key is, mm -hmm. and even a new customer, you guys, not what can you gain from this person, but going out with the intention of serving and mm -hmm. service of others. Like yeah. even any, any time you're having a conversation. That's like one and two. So being open and leading with that, not trying to just push them, but also I've noticed sometimes people will come to me and they'll say, and this is just my experience of being more you know, visible than other people, is people will come to me and they'll give me their pitch. Like, oh, you're a nutritionist and I think that you'd, you, know, you could really like rock it with this company. This is all the products and they're so great. That's a pitch, like you're leading with, with the kind of the benefits of it. it. It was never about me, like what's in it for me. So when you're thinking about the influencers in your space, so let's say you are you know, in skincare, like what cosmetologists do you know? Like what, what could it do for them? Like they're, they make their money by appointment, right? You could talk to them about like, I've helped a lot of other cosmetologists free up time from, you know, appointments and they're actually making money while they sleep. Would you be open to talking about that? Is that something that could help you? You know, yeah, that's so different. that's the communication of even before I thought about the business for Kimberly, I thought about what, what were her frustrations? She physically and also with the, where she was currently building mm -hmm. was what were the frustrations of hitting certain um, ranks or bonuses or earning the car bonus and and giving the information to see if they're open but also you've 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 got to like set your sights high 
um, it's interesting because being with Kimberly, we're at this conference with a lot of entrepreneurial minded people, but where are you going to spend your time, right? Are you mm -hmm. going to talk, you're going to find somebody that has the vision, that um, is a hard worker, that is, that is self-motivated and also you're not like pulling them along. This is, it might be network marketing, it might be a lemonade stand, but they've got to want to go out and put up the table, mm -hmm. put out the sign for the lemonade and talk to a lot of people about, about their lemonade. Why is their lemonade special? Why do you need lemonade? And so you can't drag along somebody that doesn't want to have your help. Mm -hmm. So how yeah. did I, so the other thing I'll tell you is in that top, re, what you, how you would reach out, are you open, is staying consistent. She wasn't like ready to, it wasn't our first conversation. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of conversations mm -hmm. and I would update her with, oh my gosh, I just had somebody that did X, Y, and Z. And if you're not successful yet and you don't have those pieces, then you need to go to the validation. Because one of the very first things I did was provide Kimberly with with validation. So she said she might be open. I knew that she already loved the product. I gave her some information and then I said, you know what, let me introduce you to two of my friends who so smart. have, um, they can share a little bit more about their story with the company, how they have done X, Y, and Z. And then she was able to meet Elise and Blair on a Zoom. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it wasn't ever a hard sell. It was, I want to find out if this wasn't the right fit for her, then nothing was going to happen with it yeah. with it it was, it was going to be really like I'm, i've signed up a huge influencer on social media and she had totally different she was like oh i'll just give you the people <laughs> that never works you, you they're, they're joining you right um and also too like if you don't have people like she's she's a million dollar earner with Laval. So she's been with the company for over four and a half years. Blair is also somebody who's had that success. If you don't have that, you guys, so you're like, how do I go after an influencer if I'm new or I don't, you know, I haven't reached the ranks, you borrow the success. Mm -hmm. So that's how you get to be able to say to that person, this is what you get. When you come on board and do this with me, because you are, that influencer, influencer's gonna wanna know what's in it for them like we talked about. So if you don't have that, then you, you tap into those third party resources and get them on a Zoom, get them on a three-way chat. Is there some kind of webinar or great thing that your company has so they can see how awesome it is and how they can get plugged into it? And that's gonna help you like kind of up your game without it actually being you, especially if you're starting out in your journey. It's a really, really great way to attract people who maybe maybe we'll pass you up, you know, people who are runners and that's okay, right? It's, but just think about what you have around you and you've got to keep asking, like keep asking, like I'll have girls who are like, my upline's not really involved. You got to keep going up until you can find somebody to, to tap right. into. Like that's huge. And, and one other thing that I want to share is, um, it's not about um, thinking I'm going to find, I'm going to go out and I'm going to find Blair didn't stop when she recruited me mm -hmm. and I started. It's not about saying, oh, I, I just haven't found the person yet. It is about having a passion for knowing that if you, if this, and this is when you know you're in the right place, is this product going to drastically help somebody with some of their challenges? And is this business model one that I know without question, with hard work, with, um, with consistent action is going to help somebody to grow? And when you feel that way, you are willing to have I have had thousands of conversations. So you're looking at the success of the car bonus earner and the this and the that. What you don't see is the conversations that didn't get answered or that I followed up six times and I don't, like I'm not annoying, but the people that have said, oh yeah, I'm all in, I'm all in, I'm putting my flag here and then they don't cont continue the success and I never get upset, I just say, oh, okay. Um, maybe it's not their time or maybe I'm not get, talking to this person at the right time so your timing has to be right and letting go of the outcome oh so my gosh I'm not you are but that's what you yes. just said don't she be attached to the and outcome you, and you know what guys I noticed with her I never felt that you know that weird feeling like someone's trying to sell you I never once felt it and I think that's why my guard my guard started dropping because I wasn't looking you know I was not at all I just loved the relationship we were building and all that and it was just so natural because she never was like Ooh, Kimberly's got to join my team she already has a I great would never she I has said a great this business I said this to Lindsay who is um, one of the new leaders on Kimberly's team and um, like don't have commission breath you know when you've done these <laughs> trainings and you said I, I asked Lindsay like what were the things that she needed to learn from me in order for her to decide if this was the right fit for her and I would never do well you know um, I uh, on the scale of one to ten, uh, when like I don't think how am I going to close this person? Mm -hmm. And maybe you're thinking, oh, but I've been trained. How do I close? 
closing for me is how can I serve this person to give them the best opportunity to see if it is a right fit for them? Because if it's not a right fit for them, I want to let it go. Mm -hmm. um, they might, or I'm going to just revisit that conversation to see when they're open. Um, and when you look at a list of people, of reach outs, of follow ups, um, it could take you three years of connecting. Like so. Following up Which is to crazy, say, yeah, most people want the success. They want today. the success, mm -hmm. and and I had to have a lot of practice at this. I have talked in, to a lot of people about our business model, and they're hating their job at AT and T. Uh, if you work for AT and T, it's a great company. <laughs> but I, I did this woman. I said, she said, oh, this is killing me. These hours are killing me. And I said to her. Um, have you ever looked at doing a business that you could build from your phone from home? And she was like, Oh, I don't want to be, I don't want one of those things. So she wasn't open. And you know what? I wasn't going to be like, start giving her the facts. I was like, let's connect. Um, I'd love to get you. So I'd love to just be friends on Facebook and let me get you some more information. Cause you know what? I felt that way. Um, a long time ago. And I, I think that it's just kind of knowing a little bit more if you're open. Okay, I love it. Terry left AT and T to do this full time. I should see. There you <laughs> go. That. So, is there anything that um, in the, the fifth tip? And go ahead in the comments. She's go ahead counting and, tips. If I like you it. love this and you're finding value, give us some likes and hearts. It's our first Facebook Live together, and also because we're actually together. And, look and we're at how living cute the dream. Our shirts are. We're gonna let Blair, Blair make a cameo us. appearance here. She's <laughs> wearing so the same we shirt. we have around the conference. We have one more tip, five tip. We I have dance. to close it up though because her phone's gonna die. But we were walking on the conference and people were like. So living the dream, we love your shirt. And she'd like say with are. my eyes wide open. Right here. So number five, so give and put a fire emoji in the comments too. So if you love this and you're like, Fire, yes. fire, fire. So number five is don't prejudge because there are so many girls who I, you know, I'm in that awkward position. Like I've got so many girls I've met over time and it's that where you know that they're not happy but you don't want to be that person who's like trying to get them. And so what we forget is that we don't know what's going on in somebody's life. We don't know what's going on in somebody's business and we don't know what's going on with their mindset and their goals or maybe the leadership maybe they don't have the tools that they want and they really want to run and grow and so I've had so many people who said I'm so glad you reached out to me because I they've had success obviously it's only been a month but we had several girls who are just making great money already and they're like I've made more in this one week than I made in a whole month you know my other company and so what if I wouldn't you know have been open to have that conversation or just assumed that they were good to go like what if she would have just been like well obviously Kimberly's rocking you know her business she's fine so don't prejudge people at least share like you said see if she's open it can't hurt but you should be so excited about what you have that you're stopping the doorbell guy you know you're stopping the waitress you're stopping everybody and if you're not you're gonna to want to check yourself and make sure you're aligned with your product or your company because you should be so pumped that people sense the excitement and they don't feel like they're being sold yeah and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a say one other thing is Kimberly came with a list with influence because she has over time worked to give value to give content so whatever it is that you think you can give value to your social media world just start doing that on your on your personal page start making connections and groups start making I made like five new Facebook friends today just walking around I didn't do a pitch I was just like hey well one guy yeah. um, just we're <laughs> not another live um, but make a connection and just say hey I'd love to like I'd love to connect with you on social media but become you're becoming friends like when we walked through the door it was like the the guy the um, valet said you've never met and I was like well we're like online dating because we met uh, we met in, in a group we met because of a connection that Rob made and then I reached out to her and I was asking a question I didn't reach out going oh I'm gonna ask her a question then I'm gonna recruit her to my team I but I just have I think the energy that I put out was success you can have success with us and um, I want you to be a part of this I wasn't afraid to say you are part, I would love to have you take a look because oh my goodness we would work so well together mm -hmm. but if you if you're not there no big deal but I also knew that I had passion about the product because I said I can help entrepreneurs with their busy lives to have yeah. less stress and so you know just just being open and being cool just be cool just be cool don't make it weird so we're gonna wrap this up with two things put put goal getter gang 
say that 10 times fast. Put Go that get the, her gang. Put that in the comments if you want to jump in her group. She has a four week course coming up. So do you want to know what millionaires do every day? You're just like scratching your head or even six figure earners. You're like, what do they, what do they do every day? Like, I wish I could just know what people do. She's doing a free course in her group that she should be charging for, but she's, she's just wants to pump up this group, offer a ton of value and content. I've already gotten a sneak peek at it. You guys, I'm putting my name behind it and recommending it to everybody. So put goal, get her gang in the group, and then she'll pop you in there. I'll pop you in the group. Yep. And then last but not least put party in the comments if you want to get the link and register for my Facebook party. It's a 15 minute Facebook party remix. So I've revamped the whole plan. I've done some split testing and we're able to launch people and or have people join teams and be able to launch within uh, two, three days and get their party going. And then they can walk away with 30 to 50 leads. So if you'd like to help your people launch, relaunch, or just have like a clear plan of how to get started, put party in the comments and then I'll tag you on it because it's <laughs> You're going to a party or, with your gang. Yes. And I've seen day. firsthand, I want to say, I've seen firsthand um, Kimberly's team launching with, it's so cool, they're launching with with some, with some automation for getting the information, mm -hmm. and then they're learning how to, and this is good if you've been, even if you've been in your business for five years, because it's, it's for your newest people, it's for you, but going into, and it's not your it's not your typical party that you're thinking, it's a quick 15 minute party where people get super online. excited mm -hmm. online, you're not sitting in a living room, and um, I've watched these leads come in, like a lead being 15 to 17 people that have said yes I want to know more mm -hmm. without being icky about it yeah. so the goal getter gang and party you're gonna get two two really cool tools to build your business and it's, it's it's what we're here to say is we want to help you we want you in our gang yes <laughs> Blair would you like to show your shirt oh, sure. okay so we got Blair Critch who so is like freaking like rock star um, she decided that we would all have the yeah, come, you can sit on my lap way. the living the gang <laughs> shirt um, you can't really oh, see oh, no, you can't see so, it's okay it's she's, she's got really like the most together. living Awkward. the gang too oh yeah i want to tag blair in my video i love that my that it knew that Tell them where so they can get the shirts and oh them. these shirts are from target i wish we made some money i'll go i know i but everybody wants this shirt they so i think everyone so needs cute. a living the gang shirt. i think so too um thanks for hopping thanks, on guys and here's my closing remark for you is just be brave just do it go go out be and bold be bold, but don't be icky. Mm -hmm. Make connections with people and, and always figure out how can I serve? How can I serve this person? How can I help this person? And imagine if I went to just like, I was like, oh, hey, she's a best-selling author. She understands Instagram. I wanna ask her a few questions about Instagram. I wanna <laughs> see if she's got some tools that can help me. And I sent her a Facebook message. I was like, hey, kind of random, but I saw your live and um, that was it. Up. Like, make a friend. You know how you told your child in kindergarten to go make a friend? Yes. Make a friend not with nothing out of it except for how can we connect and how can we give value to people's lives? You may yes. end up with a lifetime friend, you may end up with a business partner, you may end up with both. Or just party together in a yeah. hotel and hanging out uh, and, and Blair will, shirts. we got this fancy room next to Blair Critch. Um, so we'll see you guys all in the Goal Getter Gang. Thanks we'll see you watching. at the party. Yes. Yeah, and put the party Goal Getter Gang. We'll talk to you all later. Bye.